In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Suppose that we classify all households into one of two states, rich and poor. The probability of a particular generation being in either of these states depends only on the state in which their parents were. If a parent is poor today, their child is likely to be poor with probability 0.7. If a parent is rich today, their child is likely to be poor with probability 0.6. What is the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor? And these are the options that are given to us. To solve this question, I'm making five columns here. So in the first column, I'm recording current generation. So current generation, you can call it generation number one. In the second column, I'm recording next generation child. So next generation child you can call this generation number two in the third column i'm recording grandson so this is generation number three in the fourth column i'm recording great grandson so this is generation number four and in the fifth column i'm recording probabilities now let's fill the details here. Now see that we have to find the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor. In the current generation, a parent could be poor or rich. But because we have to find the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor, let's say that the parent in the current generation is poor. So this is poor. Now let's move to generation number two. In generation number two, the child of this poor parent could be rich or poor and we are given in the question that if a parent is poor today their child is likely to be poor with probability 0.7 so this probability is 0.7 consequently this probability is 0.3 well let's move to generation number three now in generation number three the child could be rich or poor depending on the state of the parent so if the parent is rich, the child could be rich or poor. And we are given in the question that if a parent is rich today, their child is likely to be poor with probability 0 0.6. So this probability is 0 0.6 and consequently this probability is 0 0.4. Similarly, let's write the outcome if the parent is poor in generation 2. So if the parent is poor in generation 2, the child in generation 3 could be rich or poor. And we are given in the question that this probability is 0 0.7 and this probability is 0 0.3. Now let's move to generation number 4. Well, in generation number 4, the child could be rich or poor. So here, the child could be rich or the child could be poor. And now we know that this probability is 0 0.6 and this probability is 0 0.4. Similarly, we can write the outcome for the other possibilities as well. So in this case, we have rich here and poor here. And this probability is 0 0.7 and this probability is 0 0.3. Similarly, we can have rich here and poor here. This probability is 0 0.3 six and this probability is 0 0.4 and similarly we can have rich here and poor here and this probability is 0 0.7 and this is 0 0.3 so this is the probability structure now we have to find the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor okay so that means we have to find the probability that this happens. So one is this case, one is this case, one is this case, and one is this case. So if either of these four cases happen, the great grandson of a poor man will be poor. Now let's find the corresponding probabilities. So say this is case number one, this is case number two, this is case number three, and this is case number four. So first of all, let's find the probability of case number one. Well, the probability of case number one is 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 
because this should happen and this should happen and this is multiplied by 0 0.6. So if these three things happen, then the great grandson will be poor. So that means the probability of case number one is 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.6. And this is equal to 0 0.072. Now let's find the probability of case number 2. Well, the probability of case number 2 is 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.7. Because all these three things should happen to make sure that the great grandson is poor. So this probability is 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.7 and this is equal to 0 0.126. Similarly, let's find the probability of case 3. So the probability of case 3 is equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6. Note that we can multiply all these probabilities because these are independent. Okay. So this probability is 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6 and this is equal to 0 0.126. Now let's find the probability of case number 4. The probability of case number 4 is equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7. So this is 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7. And this is equal to 0 0.343. So now to find the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor, we have to add all these probabilities. So the probability that we have to find is the sum of all these probabilities. And the sum of all these probabilities is equal to 0 0.667. So the probability that the great grandson of a poor man will be poor is 0 0.667. So that means part B is the answer. And this is all for this question.